So here's the new uh, Marvel Arm Cortex A72. And uh, who are you? I'm Reza Altajain. I'm a director of marketing uh, for Marvel, uh, responsible for the SOC product line. So you are launching Arm Cortex A72 products? That is correct. So uh, what is it for? So this is uh, actually a product um, that is designed for um, control plane applications for the um, IT uh, for, for the um, service provider gateway applications, um, as well as the unified uh, um, control net data plane applications. So um, what is it showing right here? All right. So so what we are showing here is one of the features that is supported on the 7K 8K family, and and that's I/O and CPU virtualization. What we show here is two virtual machines, and, and uh, that uh, one of them is uh, put under stress test, and then we are showing the 7040, which is our four-core uh, um, CPU from the 70, um, 7K family of products, and it shows that the CPU utilization on that one, one of the cores is dedicated to this stress test, and the other ones are free to, to run other applications. So is this the 7040 here? Yes, that's the 7040. It comes with... Um, two um, uh, dies. Um, one is the compute die, as you can see over here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Is it this one here? Uh, so there's... Um, correct. So it's actually over here is the better picture of that one. If you look at it, this is a 7K family, this is an 8K family. Um, it comes into um, uh, compute um, die as well as the networking die connected to the Mochi interface or so Mochi interconnect architecture that we have. So the CPN uh, 110, that's your networking? That is correct. That is the, um, that is the um, um, IP and that does all the networking functions from the uh, packet processor. Um, engines that is in there to the um, security engines that we have in there uh, to other offloading engines that we have as well as the high-speed uh, interconnect devices. So in so that in that one you have a small ARM Cortex M uh, and together with a lot of other stuff that's going on? That one would uh, would manage all the stuff uh, that we put into the networking section. Um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of uh, high-speed interconnect in there from a 2.5 gig um, interfaces to 10 gig interfaces. We have a 1 gig interface as well. We have PCIe, SATA 3, and USB 3 all um, in, in that product. Um, the packet processing engine is also very powerful. It gives you about 12 gigabit per second of uh, uh, packet processing bi-directional. So uh, what do people choose to do with dual core or quad core? Is it just double more performance? Uh, more performance, uh, depending on the application. Uh, you can start uh, um, with, with du uh, dual core and as the demand rises for uh, more applications to be added and more processing capabilities required, then you can uh, upgrade to four core. One of the nice thing about the 7K series is that uh, 7020 and 7040 are pin-to-pin -pin compatible. So you can use uh, uh, one PCB design and just swap uh, um, the stuff from 7020 to 7040 and scale. So this is the world's first Mochi SOC. What is Mochi? Uh, Mochi stands for modular um, chip and it's an interconnect technology that we use uh, to uh, connect um, different uh, IPs that we develop. Um, and and, and it, this is a this is an interconnect technology that not only works from die to die inside the chip, but also can go on the PCB side and be connected to other functionalities that um, require to, to scale. So uh, Marvell is one of the world leaders in networking, and now you integrate this into the ARM SSC for the first time, or how does it work? Uh, so is we, that what it means? Uh, yeah, what, what basically it means is that we are, we're using the ARM, ARM technology to um, design our uh, compute engines, and then on the networking side, um, you can think of it as, as a different or heterogeneous uh, um, stuff that uh, would be put in the single SOC stuff that would take advantage of many different features. And we can, uh, can you show uh, like the overview of all the different uh, uh, chips that you're launching? Absolutely, yeah. but yeah. before getting into that one, let me get into what the 7K um, and 8K differences are. As you can see, um, we are um, designing um, a different I IPs, and, all, and in order for us to scale, not only we scale on the frequency side or on the core side, number of cores that we use on the compute side, but we can also scale on the um, other front. Like uh, in this case, in the 8K series, we are scaling on the networking side. So what we have done is uh, instantiating, for example, the networking um, die or IP 
twice in the 8, 8K series. So all of a sudden our network uh, capability, network processing capability, uh, or packet processing capability goes up from 12 gigabit to 24 gigabit per second. Um, number of IOs that we have would be doubled. We go from 6 thirds to 12 thirds. We go from uh, 1 10 gigi to 10 gigi, um, 2 2 and a half gig to 4 2 and, two and a half gig uh, interfaces, and so on and so on. So this is for the um, professional networking market or what is it for NAS or is it for devices it, like this a little bit? It can be used on uh, many different yeah. applications. As I mentioned, it uh, can be used on for the um, four bay NAS applications. It can be used on the um, 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 control plane applications, uh, router applications. It can be used as a CPU for the aggregation switch uh, environment stuff. Um, it can be used on the home gateway uh, products and, and or service provider gateway products. They uh, compute power that it has, makes it capable to, to run, uh, for example, a um, tr um, tri-mode or um, um, tri-band uh, 11 ACs. So all of a sudden you can have uh, uh, three 4x4 four four 11 ACs connected to this device and it uh, uh, run that at uh, that full performance. And on top of that, you have enough uh, capability to run other applications on that. So as, uh, as people do more and more 4K stuff and streaming high quality videos and uh, they need more bandwidth, everybody needs more bandwidth, we need faster network solutions Absolutely. to support all this. Absolutely. And this is what you're bringing. Absolutely. So if you can see the one of the trends that we see, whether it's in the um, enterprise market or um, you see that in the home gateway market, you see the access speed are going up. Um, as the number of devices, for example, in, in home, environment, home environment is going up, uh, you see uh, more number of connected devices from PC to tablets and so on. And also you will see um, a, a lot of home automation devices are coming on board. That puts a lot of um, stress on the home gateway um, or the aggregation point, which is the, your home gateway uh, product. And uh, it is uh, some virtualization going on? What is that for? Um, the virtualization is uh, for... Um, basically taking um, um, using the same um, physical um, product and um, and, and uh, try to um, um, connect many many applications to that one application would be for example VPN applications you can have many different sites connected and and run on, on one single uh, physical entity um, without um, the, the application uh, noticing that you know it's running um, on, on single device rather than, you know or, or multiple devices in there. All right so uh, th th there was an overview can, yes can, so it, before getting yeah. into that one let's go to to another one here is another product that uh, we have it's at the lower end of um, yeah. our 64-bit um, uh, architecture yeah um, uh, this one is using the Cortex A53 dual core, and it's uh, targeted for um, IoT um, gateway applications or single bay NAS applications. It's a very low power um, uh, solution, very small footprint, and it can be used on the portable devices. You can use it on the DAS NAS applications. Um, you can con connect it to the PC, download the video, and then. Um, move around, go to some other places and, and uh, uh, connect it to a TV or something and watch the, the video for a couple of hours. So it can be low cost device also, mm -hmm. affordable uh, devices? These are, these are targeted for lower end applications and uh, uh, consumer, consumer applications, yes. But it's the same family kind of? It's a Mochi? Yes, so, so all of these coming with the Mochi um, architecture and it's, they are all based on um, ARMv8 64 bit architecture. Um, obviously, the Cortex A72 um, is the higher end of the um, spectrum, and the A53 that we have is at the lower end. All right. And one of the nice things about this that we have done is having um, software compatible solution from low end to high yeah. end. So, so the, the, everything is compatible? Everything is compatible. So, any investment that the OEMs make on developing software. Um, would be compatible going from one generation to another and they can uh, move up the uh, performance ladder without losing uh, any of their investment in software. So it could be uh, a future thing that people want to have the cloud at home and connect to the cloud with all kinds of cloud apps and stuff like that maybe or uh, some something else like VPN solutions and, and, and then you, you just develop once and everything is supported. 
Uh, it, it, yes, basically it's uh, from generation of products um, that the OEMs are coming out with. Let's say they start with um, two cores and that is uh, enough based on the applications that they have. Um, in two, two years um, down the road they, they find other applications that they're running and they, they think that they need more um, processing um, power so they can um, obviously go up from two core to four core or go from uh, frequency range from one gigahertz to two gigahertz and, um, and uh, um, they, they, all the stuff that they have uh, would be um, fully compatible. So you talk about six, six times gigabit Ethernet? Um, correct. As I mentioned that um, in the Mochi architecture we can um, instantiate different dies multiple times and connect them through the Mochi um, architecture. Um, and what you see over here um, is if you look at the differences between the 8040 and um, 7040, uh, you will see that the number of instanti instantiation on the networking IP is, is two times than, than the 7040. So all of a sudden you go from um, six services to 12 services, you go from uh, three gigi or two and a half gig to six uh, gigabit interface, uh, one 10 gigi becomes uh, two 10 gigi and so on. Uh, quad core A72, that's a lot of performance. Yes, correct. So, so uh, the, I guess your customers are uh, very happy about uh, getting to start working on this and, new, and selling devices. How soon does it come on the market? Um, we, uh, we have engaged with multiple um, um, tier one um, customers and uh, we are hoping that uh, they will ramp up soon. I cannot talk about the, the exact date that they will ramp up, but uh, it's, it's coming pretty soon. The chip is available? Chip is available, it's the production samples, and, and the, the software is also available. Um, we have already provided samples uh, to, to our customers, um, and we are working with them, with them very closely to, to take them into production soon.